Good afternoon, you guys. I hope that you guys are doing well. Basically, this video or the my next set of videos is sort of like a documented, sort of like documented vlogs of what I have been doing and what I have been going through since this whole pandemic has started and so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be jumping in in parts of the videos or parts of the vlog so I can explain to you guys a bit of what was going on in those clips okay in the clip that you guys are about to see Dimitri and myself we went to Home Depot in which to buy some mildew remover because I pretty much attributed my sore throat that I was having for it was a bit it was a bit like it wasn't really severe at one point but then it did started you know getting worse and so we went to get some mildew remover or some paint that helps with mildew for the bathroom because the bathroom has no window and so I was thinking that because of the mildew in the bathroom you know that was um basically affecting my sore throat getting ready to go get on this line well no it's not a line it wasn't open yet yay i'm so happy home default yeah these are the distance cones so that would be the number one move effect waiting in the line you know when they go uh uh Think you coming back? <laughs> yeah, so we're waiting in line. Homeboy left, so I don't know if he's coming back for his spot. The next ten. All right. I'm back at Home Depot, you guys. <clears throat> They're letting in ten people. Um. They're letting in 10 people at a time, but we actually got in here sooner than I thought that we were going to get in. So we're coming to get some paint. Let's ask this guy, maybe. Gonna try to talk to him from a distance. And he just got all up in his face. Um, do you guys tell have? Him, just tell him what type you want, okay? Tell him what type. I'll tell you what the semi gloss. It's interior exterior. Um, do you guys have the paint that um for like mildew? This clip, I realized something that troubled me. You can see how much I was struggling with my sore throat. My sore throat, it lasted for about six days. By day four, five, and six, I'm going to tell you guys, I didn't think I was going to be able to survive it anymore. And I know some people probably think about sore throats. I'm like, all right, well, it's just a sore throat. But it wasn't just a sore throat. It was very terrifying um, for me. And I was in a lot of pain. And I thank God by day six, um, my sore throat had finally subsided. I just wanted you guys to like really pay attention to, you know, the my throat movement and you'll basically see it in this clip here. Okay. Get that to a gallon of paint. 
white paint, open paint, yikes. Right. Best thing to do in the bathroom if you got like, like, um... Me and Zay, we are outside right now. Um, she needed to go to the store, so that's what we are right now. All right, so after Home Depot, we took a walk by the river. And this whole scene is just like so relaxing to me. Even when I was editing the video, it was just like so relaxing to just see the water again. And even though it was relaxing in the moment, it probably wasn't the best thing to do at the time because my situation it it got worse let's just Dimitri and I we're over here what pee is this again? Bay? Bay? Jamaica Bay or something? I don't know. I don't know. Well, we're just out here by the, the water. Yeah, it feels really good out here. As long as you have like a jacket on, it feels really good out here. Um, this goes all the way, all the way around, I guess because as I look out, it's going all the way, all the way around. So, how far are we going? To the end. Ah, we are not going to the end. Bad, I gotta use the bathroom. No, 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 we go down to where that is right there and then we'll come back. But I don't know where the end is. So, I mean, we're not gonna say the end. We're gonna go oh, towards right where the bridge is, basically. Well, the I, it might go around, babe. It might go around all the way down more because I recall seeing that thing go far. So, but we'll see. So, yeah, so we just out here, you know, just trying to get a little bit of air. I mean, I go to work, so I get air every damn day. Demetri still go to work as well, basically. Just not as often as, you know, I might go. And not, you know, he doesn't have to, you know, socialize or have physical contact with people as much as, as I'm not gonna, definitely not as much as, you know, I do. But, um, yeah, so I was trying to determine, well, I'm hoping, you know, definitely that tomorrow because my throat it has been you know has been hurting a bit more you know but I've been doing everything I can possibly like to um limit I guess the severity of it and so yeah but um pretty much Every season change, I always get like a cold or something like that. So we got to be very careful with trying to socially associate every illness with the coronavirus because, you know, people are still getting sick from other things besides, you know, the virus. And um, you just got to keep your immunity and different things like that up and, you know, as well as you can. And so that's it, you know. But all the birds, yeah. I'm gonna show you guys where all the birds are, you guys.
voice. <coughs> Excuse me. So in this next clip that you all are about to see, I was thinking that, you know, I was gonna have like a complete turnaround. My sore throat, it went away. And I was just like so excited. I was thinking, okay, well, this is it. This, but I discovered that pretty much a lot of it was just like just the beginning. Here you guys. Today is Friday, March 27th. And... You guys, I am so tired. My left breast is in agony and my skin, it feels like, I don't know, it's like a whole, diff a whole lot of different feelings because it feels like when I touch it, like very sensitive warm and some spots it's like extra hot like when I touch it and my whole body is like in agony and I have a headache I don't have a migraine but I do have a headache so thank god for that I've been trying to take deep breaths because it's just a lack of oxygen to the brain like when you get migraines and headaches so I've been trying to take deep breaths but um, about four days prior to this probably a little longer I'm gonna say about a week I started getting a sore throat and like my camera is jumping I don't know why I should be. And, um, yeah, I started getting a, a sore throat. Um, and, like, three days ago, it started to, like, increase. Um, and, you know, the amount of pain that I was experiencing in my neck. And yesterday and the day before yesterday was probably like the two most painful days. And I goggled some salt water twice. The second time I put more salt and that seemed to really help it a lot. And for the last past week, I've been drinking a lot of lemon and honey with tea, different types of tea, um, immunity tea. I've been drinking herbal tea. And I've been drinking a tea to help me sleep. Well, for the first time I took a tea, to help me sleep last night and I tell you that tea is like a godsend like seriously it's just the most oh my god it's such a spectacular tea and when I get up I'll show you guys with tea that I'm um speaking about but right now I just like I can't even think about getting up right now because I'm just I'm just so tired and um so earlier i was up trying to like do a little bit of you know moving around and different things like that but i don't want to overdo it so now i'm just in the bed but um i guess i just wanted to you know really speak about right now and how I'm feeling right now so yeah somebody's calling me I don't know who that is 
maybe they'll leave a message but anyway you guys I just wanted to tell you all to you know make sure you guys are taking care of your health and different things like that you know and if you guys are still working and you just feel like you know you just can't do it you know no matter what I mean there's someone there that's gonna be healthier than you are and they're gonna be there and you know they're gonna do what they can do and probably no more than that and so don't feel guilty about taking off from work if you have to take off from work you know um get yourself back right get yourself back healthy and then you can go back in and if those healthy people end up getting sick now you're better and so you know you can be the one to take over for them you know why they get some rest and things like that so but anyway you guys later all right you guys so this is the end of the video um this won't be the only video pertaining to this situation so i want you guys to you know look out for my other videos and i just want to say you know you guys please you know do whatever you have to do to keep yourself safe do whatever you have to do to keep your loved ones safe and um you guys will see me soon love you all